Within a desolate landscape, hidden inside a dilapidated cabin, God takes his own life through disembowelment. Through the excrement-drenched remains, Mother Earth awakens, masturbating God for a final ejaculation, which she uses to impregnate herself. She gradually births the Son of Earth, a vulnerable figure, abandoned to the violent whims of the nomads in a hellish land, resulting in death, reincarnation, death, and a final rebirth as nature blooms through the bleak wilderness. This is E. Eli's Marriages Begotten, an experimental horror film that often feels like a fusion of Stan Brakhage's textured erratic imagery and David Lynch's dystopian nightmares. Begotten's dialogue-free nature and difficult to discern imagery, even becoming reminiscent of 1800 silent filmmaking. With its grainy aesthetic, Begotten can be difficult to follow visually, especially as it suspends any conventional focus on narrative, but its most striking images are indications of a retelling of creationism, with fertility and rebirth receiving significant focus, enduring through physical and sexual degradation. The first impression viewers may find with Begotten is that it's ugly, intentionally so. An abstract surreal horror film produced on a minuscule budget, many of its images are grainy, washed out, overexposed, and difficult to distinguish. The film often looks like some cursed videotape found deteriorating from a terrible place, and it's this aesthetic which can make Begotten so appealing. It's also likely the reason why the film, especially the scene of God disemboweling himself, has become shared amongst so many without context. While it can be difficult to follow Begotten, its most disturbing images are truly horrifying. The apocalyptic hellscape of Begotten is immersive, the film seemingly a glimpse into a world we never wish to visit, and the imagery often feels grotesque, grubby, yet rich in texture. Creation myth serves as a significant influence on Begotten that, while the film avoids conventional narrative, the theological and philosophical connections are apparent. Mother Earth portrayed as pregnant with the Son of Earth, the growth of plant life which overflows through a dying world, like rebirthing, a fertility from the sperm of God, as if a recreation within six days, the film opening with the death of God, almost a literal depiction of Friedrich Nietzsche's God is dead concept, the idea of enlightenment leading to the death of religion. Begotten's focus on the philosophical and theological ideas of creation are present, and in the creation of everything, there is also death and reincarnation, rebirth, Begotten's most prominent thematic ideas, almost becoming cyclical. After the Son of Earth dies at the hands of violent nomads who accept his organs as an offering, Mother Earth leads the Son of Earth into rebirth from the end of a noose. In this second life, the Son of Earth and Mother Earth are bludgeoned, gutted, and sexually violated by nomads. But through death, their bodies become one with the Earth, and life springs anew, filling the dying planet with new fertility. The sequences described are thoroughly graphic and distressing to watch. The violence towards Mother Earth and Son of Earth feels clearly indicative of humanity's own violence towards the planet. Pollution, war, harvesting fossil fuels, and the unwillingness to change. The commentary regarding the treatment of Earth is explicit, but there also seems to be a consideration regarding the endurance of life, death, and rebirth. Son of Earth and Mother Earth suffer through horrific, violent experiences, and yet their existence is persevere, leaving their physical embodiment and becoming reborn in a new body, or even in the form of new life, as alluded to in Begotten's climax, with newly sprouting flora springing across a once dead landscape. In a bleak reassurance, no matter how much suffering Earth seems to endure, even if it meant the death of humanity, not unlike the death of God, in Begotten's opening images, as humanity's most powerful seem to consider themselves godlike, the Earth will once again be reborn. In conclusion, Begotten is a difficult film to watch, both for its disturbing, violent nature, but also due to the looseness of any semblance to narrative, and also due to the film's peculiar presentation, as if like a decaying tape cursed from a long-forgotten world. It's understandable if audiences find Begotten a frustrating film, inaccessible and irritating to try connect with, but there is reasoning as to why Begotten has become a cult film amongst fans of experimental cinema. Its theological and philosophical ideas 
are presented in a grainy mysticism, drenched in gore that is both visually violating and darkly theatrical, understandable due to E. Elias Marriage's own experiences as a theatre director, his own theatre company, Theatre of Material, serving as the cast for Begotten, which was initially conceived to be performed as a theatrical piece, making for its more environmentalist ideas to be undeniably expressive, atmospheric and unforgettable, whether we enjoyed it or not, Begotten continues to stir within the darkest nooks of the cinematic landscape. Special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil and to my super tier Patreon supporters Constantin Bombelli and Jamie.